Hello everyone, welcome back to E6E. Um, oh, I forgot about that. Uh, I've been doing some stuff between episodes. Specifically, I've been trying to get a Blazeby, and I just got one. After many, many tries of doing something completely wrong. Um, basically, what I needed to do was have a Glowstone Bee on top, and a Pollinated... Colby on the bottom. I don't know if it needs to be pollinated. I just, yeah, I had to swap them around because I had the Colby on top and the Glowstone Bee on the bottom, thinking that it would turn the Glowstone Bee into. No, that was the wrong way around. What you need to do is, in fact, if you go to the. Uh, where is it? The apiary. It's got a ponder on this. And I think it's this one here. Shows you what to do. So I have a tier four. Ah, what does this one turn into? Is this ghast? Okay, the blaze bee does that and then it turns into a ghast bee. Got ya. Okay, right. So you need to do this for the blaze bee itself and what that what that does is you have a Colby here, you have a Glowstone Bee up the top. Luckily the Glowstone Bee uses these flowers. There is one in here right now. So it says one of two. I got very confused. I thought it was to do with the Bow Bee, which, or the Boo Bee. <laughs> Boo Bee. So in here, this is my new little breeding house, I suppose you call it. Uh, the Bobby, by the way, has a deployer. You'll see it when it pops out. It's huge. There's the Glowstone Bee, so I'm going to nick that one, because now we have a proper system for it. Right. There's the Colby. I've got another Colby in here, and a Bobby when it pops out. Eventually. Bobby is huge, by the way. So I actually had two Bobies. Actually, no, I had one, and it died, and it gave me a lava. And... The lava is one of these things, right? So I just did this. Wait, did you pop out? Oh no, sorry, the uh, Colby went in. But yeah, that's not how you do it. Anyway, I've got these two now, so what I can do is pop over here. Ah. Oh. Stick the Colby in here and the Glowstone Bee in here. For some reason, that one's going for that flower instead of the one right next to it. Hmm. I need to make this slightly bigger, I think, for when I uh, when I do the blaze bee over my thermal expansion thingies. There you go. There's our second blaze bee, and with this now we've got two. We need four altogether. But what we can do with these is just breed them together. Uh, and there is this breeder upgrade. And I never used this. We, we spent ages trying to make this and then never used it. So I do need to make a new apiary. So the one we've got down here is going to be purely for making these chunks. And that is completely, completely done now. That's pretty good. Whoa. Look at the coal coke. I think I need to make some more upgrades for that. So let me do that. And there we go. There's our second one. I was uh, totally out of the andesite alloy. Which brought me on to. As we're doing bees. Andesite. Alloy. Which we can do in the induction smart. These things. Come from the clockwork bee. And it, you've got a chance of getting builder's tea. I've never actually used a builder's tea, but I have got a few. I've got these from Quest, Quest Rewards. Gives you motivating and saturation. Maybe we use that for some mining later on. But because I saw that we need the clockwork bee, I think it's time that we do the thing that everybody has been mentioning, which is... In fact, let's grab nature's compass. 
Is it called a mushroom biome or a mushroom biome? I don't know which one's which, but let's go for this one, because it's got mycelium. Oh, that one's in the end. That one's in the under garden. This is, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's kind of, uh, our buffs are kind of in the way over there, but we can kind of see it's 4,000 blocks away in, in this direction there. Cool. So we are going to fly. Uh, oh dear. Oh well. We've got lots of um, mana now, so we can fly in whatever the direction we want. So I'm just going to go over there. <sighs> Look at me go. Um, I do... Ooh, okay, missed that. I've already got the uh, thing from that. I do have some bee jars, and we're going to try and find our self. Clockwork B. I think that would be really good. And here we are. Oh, oh uh, eh. Landed. Instantly found one of these Breath of the Wild tower things, so that's good. Uh, what loot do we get? Eh. It's fine. Cool. So, I think in this here, we're likely to find weird bees. That's what people have been saying, at least. Uh, we might find an Oreo bee as well. What the heck is that one? Skeletal bee. Okay, that's not what we... Kind of not what we're looking for. It's another skeletal bee. There's a bee over there. What is... That is a sandy bee. That's not what we're looking for. Looks like another sandy bee right there. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to go hunt in for bees and then we'll be back in a sec. Oh, this looks promising. Clockwork bee, yes. Ah, oh, amazing. Um, I was kind of also over here for the Oreo bee because I hear that one's pretty good. You get like ridiculous food from it. Well, the Oreo, which is some really good food. There is a bee in here, so maybe we should just... Stick about, wait for this one to pop out. Is that a mushroom? Brown mushroom bee nest. Huh. Uh, I wish it would say what bees are in there, but it doesn't, unfortunately. Uh, what other stuff have we got in this biome? Loads of skeletal bees. I did use one of my crates. I made a few more crates, by the way, because... I swear we had six at one point. I must have plopped some down and then never picked them up again. What is this over here? It's not a village, is it? No. Oh, cool. It's one of these... Uh... Oh, there's a zombie spawner. There we go. Just all of this stuff, because why not? Might need it. Cool. Okay, more looking for bees. Spelling bee. I think spelling. Does this give books? Honeycomb, which turns into books, and you get some bottle O enchanting. Awesome. Uh, we've got a better chance of getting paper, but that is fine. That's really good. Uh, this is a bit cheaty again, but I. Just saw an Oreo bee. Where were you? This direction? On the map. There's the Oreo bee. Awesome. Right. Why can we not sprint? Sprint. Thank you. You are coming with me, good sir. Don't eat this. I'm not going to eat that. I'll eat its honey, though. Any other stuff that we need? Ooh, there's like shrimp and hammerhead shark. What's that over there? Chiseled stone. Is that going to be... Oh, cool. I'm kind of looking for a drowned spawner, but I don't 
think this has got a spawner in it, it's just got a bunch of drowned around it. <laughs> Come here. You're just drowning yourself, why not? Buried treasure, mana regen, water breathing. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, we're out. Well, we could go and look for that uh, buried treasure. Might be a part of the seas in there. I still want to see what other bees we can find whilst we're over here. I'm sure there's some weird ones. Ow. Sandy bee. Bats. Another spelling bee. Another spelling bee. There's two spelling bees over there. Skeletal bee. Yes. What I did here is... Um, yeah, the nature's compass. When you... Uh, you can just set whatever you want in the, the nature's compass. We've used this a few times now, but... Uh, do I need another spelling bee? Probably not. I'll just get the one. Hopefully it won't die. If we if it does die, we can always come back here. We've got this this tower. Sooty bee, another spelling bee. Zombie spelling bee. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right, anyway, let's um, pop back to base. Oh, as I came back, I heard a lightning. It's kind of in this direction. So one thing you... Oh, there we go, Mo. Mo is the mob that spawned. Let's get full hunger. Probably a bad idea to go do this now, but whatevs. Hello, Mo. What'd you give me? Okay, we'll have a look at that when we get back. And there we go. What do we get from that? So, mana weave, mana weave. Decent! That's a, a rare mana weave right there. That's pretty good. I'll just stick these away for now. Cool. So, that is the amount of... Uh, Bee hunting I'm going to do for this episode. We might need some other bees later, but we have got ourselves the blaze bee. We are going to mutate... We need three more, don't we? No, two more, because one of these will leave as a blaze bee. One will turn into... Wait, is it the bee that turns... Let's have a look. I have turned the sounds off for these guys, by the way, because they were really annoying me. Blaze B. There we go. I think this needs to be pollinated. Goes over a, a basil and a blizz and a beeper and okay, we can do all of these. We might need to make an well, we're definitely gonna need to make another uh Apiary, which is fine. We've got an apiary tier one that we can do that to. Cool. Okay, so I've set myself up a another one right here. Uh, I think they're the same distance away. I just tried to make it a little bit symmetrical. I might do something with this just to make it, yeah, a bit more. Um, I haven't put the glass in this and I haven't like verified it yet. I did put the apiary breeder right here. I believe what you do is you have like two bees, you put one in this side, one in this side, and you give it the flowers to breed, and then it will, I might need to give it some jars, there we go. And then what happens is the jar comes out of this and goes into the apiary storage, and you get your new bee right right there. Um, I was just thinking about it, and the bees that we're going to need is... I was looking at Blaze, but we don't really do that 
in this. We kind of need to do it over here. Uh, so we need to put a blaze cake here. Ooh, you pop no, no, that's that's in here. I'm waiting for the um, I'm waiting for the bee to pop out here. The glowstone that's already in there. And what I'm going to do is put a magma cake right here. Underneath here, I think we've decided already that the uh, basalt and you know all of the different avatar e stuff can go in a two by two by one area. So we can make that two by two by one area under here. So I can knock these two out, this one and this one. Stick them in like that. Have our blaze be above, and it should just go across and turn them into the different bees. I hope that's how it works. And we only needed one bee for that, but we got two because why not? He's getting night time. To make the magma thingy, magma, this thing, magma cake, we are going to need some crimson roots. I already, so I've got this little thing here. This is like my little backpack just for the stuff that we're using right now. I already have the magma cream buckets. Uh, and I did that by putting magma blocks in the smeltery. And then putting buckets in here and pouring them out. Uh, so now I think we need to go and find a crimson forest. Which we haven't found one yet. Uh, so I have got my nature's compass. This thing is like such so good if you haven't made one yet like it's my suggestion for the pack is make one of those compasses okay there is a ghast right there please don't shoot my Return to sender? Oh, it was. And we got some gas tears. That's pretty good. Um, uh, why did you explode? Ow. Ow. Set me on fire. I should really get my book out. Take so much mana. I really should get a cheaper spell. Oh, there's so many of them. There's two. Ow. Oh my, look at my health. Running away now, please. Uh, this didn't go, go to the plan. Oh, and there's everything wants to kill me. Brilliant. And I missed. I've got to get better at shooting with this thing. Eh. Right. Now we're kind of hidden. To get my nature's compass. And I have set it already to Crimson Forest. It is really far away, though. Crimson Forest. Let's do one of those. Let's see how far away. Oh, not not too far away. It's just in this direction. Uh, do we have a better book? I think Warp Impact's probably better. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh, and I fell off. Oh, poop. Okay, well, at least we can hover. This feels like a crimson forest. These pigmen aren't gonna screw me up. At least I hope they won't. So, crimson forest is right there. I did bring some shears. I don't know if I needed shears for this, but... 
Let's have a look. Because we need some of these. That will do us. Oh, cool. There's like a... There's a bunch of these in the overworld as well. Might as well. Oh, there's a uh, waystone up there. Should definitely take a waystone. Because... I think we're slightly far away from actually making waystones, but ouch. Oh, there's a drop there. Uh, and whilst we're here, let's grab that, that bee. Hellish zombie. Don't think we've got one of those yet. It's kind of my B episode. Let's uh, have a look around, see what we got. Glowstone B, loads of those. Skeletal B, another glowstone. Forest B for some reason. Hoglins. We should really do some hoglin trading at some point. Or is it piglin that we need? Piglin trading, I think that's what it is. Piglin. No, these are piglins, right? So the other ones must be hoglins. Okay, right. I'm going to feed myself and then we're going to go back to our portal. Okay, for some reason this doesn't want to uh, validate. And I don't understand why, because it's the exact same as what was over there. Up one. Down one. Zombie. Oh, that's the wrong one. Ah, I figured it out. You're the wrong way around. That would be it. So, this. There we go. Uh, I need to get out, though, so. One of those. There we go. Right. Let's stick these bits back. Perfect. Lovely. Right, now what I can do is stick these bees that I've got. I think I might need to put... Like, what is it for a clockwork bee? Clockwork bee. You need a cuckoo clock. So I need to put one of those in there. So maybe I'll go and get all of those bits first. I also need to make a couple of these magma thingies, whatever you call them, the, the cake, magma cake, yeah, one of these, need to make a few of these, so I'll go off and do that, and then we'll be back in a sec, not sure I've mentioned it yet, but I, oh, I need to replace that, what I've done is, um, I've piped this up to a magmatic dynamo, and this should be producing like a ridiculous amount of power for just one bucket that is, but it doesn't produce it that quickly. What I could do is I could nab the, uh, is it in this one? I could nab, nab the augment out of this and put it down there, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. Got all the bits, so there's a cuckoo clock, one of the magma cake things. I've also got one over there because I'm gonna do some breeding in a sec. I've got a flower and a lectern, and that should be the four bees I've got on me. Uh, that's the spelling bee, bee, the clockwork bee, blaze bee, and the oreo bee, because the oreo bee, I think it's just a flower, if I remember correctly. Which one's going to come out first? The oreo bee, apparently. Maybe? Oh no. Spelling bee is going to come out first. It should go to the lectern. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I was going to put in uh, the hellish zombie, but it just gives us some gold. Because we can just get a gold bee if we wanted to do that. Ah, perfect. This is what I wanted. I wanted to get that one out of there. And now what I can do is I am 
going to grab all the bits from here. This is where we're going to put our four elements, or three elements, because we don't need the four, because we've already got a blaze, right? So I can put one of them in here, and I'm going to do them in order. So where's my blaze be? Is it in here? No, over here. There it is. So I think I can still do this, and it will go off, and it will pollinate on that, hopefully. And all I need to do is grab my shadow gem. And by shadow gem, I meant soul gem. Let's grab this one first. I'm going to do them left to right, because uh, I don't want the... There we go. I don't want the earth one, the basalt, to like kill the other one, if you know what I mean. Like it, it did last time. So this should work. Now all I have to do is wait for this bee to come out. I just had to come down here because my uh, blizz was stopping me from sleeping up there. But hopefully that means that the bee's popped out. It doesn't look like it has. Blaze bees must take a while in the... Uh, in the bee nest. That's fine. We just wait. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hopefully this will do it. It does go on fire every so often. So does the booby. Are you going to do it? Are you going to pollinate? And then walk over this dude? Is that how it works? Please say it is. Oh, wow. You're really slow. Hey! There we go. We got ourselves... The Blizzby. Amazing. Awesome. Right, I'll go grab the other ones. Oh, and there is the Blitzby. So the last one is this dude here. Basil B. Nice. Well, actually, the last one is going to be the Beeper because I forgot to get a Ghast one. You need to transform a Beeper into. The ghast one. Ghast. This one. How'd you get netherite? Uh... Oh, okay. So it looks like... Oh, cool. So a diamond bee and a ghast bee. So I need one of these to get the netherite bee. Sweet. Ah. No, wait. So, beeper. Really? You just turn lava into mossy cobble. Good to know. I forgot we could do this as well. We can do proper... What the heck is this one? What does this one give us? Cornbread. Uh, okay then. Rocket honey. What the heck? That gives us a lot of energy if we use that. But anyway, waiting for this now. And a basil bee. Did the ghast bee off camera. And I set this up. All of the bees are in here right now. Uh, the only issue is... Oh, you may have already seen it. The bees, so if I do blaze, I think they all come up. Yeah, there we go. This one here requires, oh, this, do like this, and there we go. An earth slime cake, which, if you look at the recipe, you need slime buckets. That's fine, we can get that. We can get that from the arboreal extractor. And that is either using the leaves, the ender slime leaves, and, well, the green, green one with the arboreal extractor. The only issue I've got is, I think it's this one here, requires an ender slime cake. And I can't grow the tree uh, to get the 
end slime using the arboreal extractor. This is this is just a regular tree that I grew. Uh, well, a regular one of these pythendron logs, trees. Stick that on there. It doesn't do anything. I tried making it. If I do this and go here. You can see it says like, oh yeah, just grow one of these trees and then you'll get this ender slime. Not the case. Not how it works, apparently. So, we might have to make the other thing. So, we can use this fluid extractor. And that gets, I get some end slime that way. The only issue is, it's a kind of a, eh, it's not that much of a pain. We look at it. White sheet metal. So there's any sheet metal. Uh, mechanical drill. We haven't made one of these yet. We probably should make a little cobble gen or something. Yeah, the only thing that looks like a pain is the concrete, I suppose. Ah, we can make one. Give it a bit of power. And yeah, I've chopped down about a million of these trees trying to get a small tree so I can use the arboreal extractor. It doesn't look like that's how it works, though. So, bit of a pain. And also, that happens. Can't just vein mine it, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, don't think all those leaves are going to fall. Also, to grow this, you need to use. Uh, where is it? You need to use this stuff. And I only picked up three when I was in the end. I did. I thought about it at the time, and I was like, "Yes, I'll uh, I'll grab I'll grab some of that." Uh, and what I've been doing is using this takeoff book and doing that, and then I can get all of the yeah, all the little bits. Oh, poo! Ow! Eh. Eh. There. There's probably one in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So there's a few over here. I think it's just this one, and then what I'll do is I'll try and get over there. Actually, what I'll do is this, and then take off. And then, I think this is the only one left, hopefully. It is the only one left, nice. Does mean I've got a lot of uh, logs now, which is useful. We can use that for a bunch of stuff, uh, including getting some of this end slime stuff. Okay, this is what I've come up with. So, the arboreal extractor is on the sky route. I, for some reason, had a couple of these. I've probably been picking them up, to be fair, because always good, good practice to pick those up. Uh, I also had one of the green ones because we needed green wood for something a while ago. I think it was for a pressure plate. Green. Yeah, it was Greenwood, right? Um, oh, I don't remember now. Pressure plate? This one here. Why do we need this? Must have been... Ah, yeah. I think it was for the blank scanner module. They've changed this. I swear I didn't have one of these before. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I had one of these. Yeah, because I could make that. Yeah. Anyway, I needed that back then. Uh, so anyway, I had a sapling, and actually, this was here before because this is where I put the, uh, the thingy up there. So this is now just extracting the liquid slime. That one is the liquid sky slime, and this is what I've got for the wow well, ender slime. I've got one of these logs. I did have like a bunch of them because I chopped down a bunch of those trees. So I put them in a block placer, which is a pain to make. Block placer. So I needed to first off make a couple of these pity machine frames. Uh, we've made leaded concrete before, and I had this recipe because of the engineer's blueprints. So I made one of those, and then a liquid extractor. Sorry, it's a fluid extractor. 
is right here. So again, all of these are pretty easy to make. You just need aluminium plates and stuff. So I made this and yeah, all of these bits. Uh, I needed these andesite alloys. So I have been making a bunch of them. So yeah, I just made this thing and chucked it down. These place weird as well. You have to like point them in the direction you want them to go. That isn't on fire, by the way. That's the Bobby. It's huge. I'll go show you in a bit. But yeah, this is creating sky. No, the Ender slime, but it's not as quick, I don't think, as these arboreal extractors. And I've got pipes underneath. I tried to hide it, but it's kind of hard to hide when these aren't full blocks. But I think I have enough to make at least the blue slime and the green slime. So I'm going to go make those. A uh, little bit of time in the bottle later and we've got, I've got another one in my system already. I did have to go and get all of the, like, grass. Because you need grass to do this. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. Well, there you go. You see it right there. <laughs> I already have one in the, in the system. So now... These uh, these ones I have to go into the end for. That is okay. I've got the last cake. The other cakes are already in there. Uh, the only issue is, if I go in... Uh, let's do this. Yeah, they all try and get out. So, stick that down quickly. And that and that. Import that one, and you have to always unlock it. I always forget about that. Now all I have to do is wait for them to pollinate. I have put a mum bee in there as well, because... Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, this stuff, you can... Oh god, there's so many... So many things you can do with these. Ah, there you go. So you can basically double your... Uh, God shards using this this like honeycomb. Uh, if you didn't know, a God forged block. Uh, if I click on it, you'll see what I mean. So, usually it would take six Nabu ingots and three of the God shards, and you get four God shards every time you melt it down. This gives you a random God item, or you know, one of the items. Oh, I suppose they are God items. Yeah. Uh, but using these honeycombs, you can double it instead of getting three-fourths back, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah, I am going to be using these. Uh, we have got a little bit there. I've got loads of Oreos now as well. Really good food. Well, as you can see, I eat one. And it gives you a ton of buffs, so <laughs> that's really useful. I'm kind of waiting on this to... There you go, I've got the... I want to swap these round. Actually, I want to put the blaze one down here as well. Oh, it's fine. I can do this, this. Break that one. Break that one. Stick that one up there. Put this one down here. Yes. And now all I'm waiting on is that last one, which is the blizz, I believe. Blitz. Asshole and Blizz will go on this this corner here. But I need to set the filter, so <laughs> can't really unless you can do it like this. No, you can't like drag anything in there. But yeah, that's uh, that's all of the bees that I think we're going to need for now. I do want to get a diamond bee because diamonds aren't as like common as you'd think. I mean, they are. It's just I. I've not been mining them because I haven't had the fortune. I've got fortune 5 now though, so I should probably go do that. But yeah, we've got these going, which is really good. These ones here as well. They've got a chance of giving us this and some blaze honey. Don't know if the blaze honey is used for anything else. Oh, okay. What's this? A heat pipe. Okay, well, that's a thing as well, I suppose. Uh, I really don't like the particle effects. I don't know if there's any way of turning this off, but 
Yeah. There we go. Been a little bit AFK. A couple of minutes. And we got some Blizz as well. So we got all of the honeycombs for the four elements. Uh, I didn't mention it earlier, but the way that I powered this thing over here is I made a solar panel. Now that we've got all of the bits that we need, I can get rid of a bunch of this now. And decide magnetic, get rid of that and that. Yeah, we can make all of this because we've got dielectric casings now. We can make these at least. We've got the ability to make this capacitor. And this was just requiring the crystal glass panes. And we made this crystal glass a couple of episodes back, right? So, I made one of these and I placed it down here. It makes far too much energy for this setup, but it's better than like running something over here so to just power these two things, right? So I just popped it here because it's kind of like wireless. It's not really wireless, but yeah, that will just power for us. And I also have one. Don't know if it will show. I'm not exactly sure where I put it either. Is it over in this direction somewhere? I think it's up here somewhere. There it is. So there's one right here. And this is feeding our base. And it is making way more power than what we have coming out of these dynamos that we set up at the... Well, this one I set up in this episode. And these I set up a while ago. So I might actually remove these. Yeah, I could do that. I could remove all of these and we because we don't need them anymore. Uh, if you didn't know as well, the solar panels are buffed by a lot. That's 880 FE. One of these dynamos, including this one here, makes 40. So we need like a bunch of these just to rival the power of one of those solar panels. Uh, I did make some of the... God, what's it called? Energized? I, yeah, I made a bunch of this energized steel. I went into the undergarden and I found... What's the thing that this turns into? So, I found a bunch of this. It's in a it's in a specific biome. You've got a bee. Oh dear. Frosty bee. Actually, it will say... Mating the... Cloaked bee with the icy bee. My milkshake brings all the queens to the yard. Okay, weird. But yeah, we could do. Oh, it shows it if we do it like this. Yeah. So we might do some of these breeding bits in the next episode. And I did remove the, the breeder from this apiary. It doesn't really need to be on a specific apiary, to be fair. Because it's not actually going to be in the apiary. Like the bees don't like then spawn in the apiary. They go into the apiary storage. Uh, that's a bit annoying. I should probably set up some... Yeah, that's a point. I need to set up some processing for these combs now. This one only needs eight things processed. Because the Oreos, you know, they're, they're just fully already processed. Uh, but yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. I'll uh, let's, let's hop inside. I'll go and have a look at the stats. Uh, da, da, da. Where is my time played? 3.46 days. So I think yesterday I was... Oh, I can't even remember now. But yeah, that's that's the time I've played on this this world here. I think it's important to show that sort of stat because... Some people might see a world like loads and loads of stuff in it and they'll be like, oh, I can do that in the five minutes that I get to play each day or each month even. I know what some people are like with, uh, you know, having kids and stuff. So it's kind of one of the things that I was like, I should definitely show off how much I've actually played this pack. Just so I'm not like enticing people to play when they can't, if you know what I mean. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And... I will see you in the next one. Bye.